U.S. today, 25% of three-year-olds go online daily. This number goes up to 50% by age five and 70% by age eight. Today's media and culture is undeniably negative in its portrayals of women, their role in society, and their worth based on their beauty. These portrayals convey the socially constructed ideas of the average or attractive woman while failing to represent the actual average woman, creating norms that are virtually unattainable for the majority of the female population. While actual women's bodies have grown larger, societal standards of body shape have become much thinner. Many of the models in the media are approximately 20% below the ideal healthy body weight, thus meeting the diagnostic criteria for anorexia. Magazines and advertisements are marketed to help women better themselves by providing information and products that are supposed to make them look and feel better. But studies show that women who constantly look at models in magazines and ads have increased levels of depression, stress, guilt, shame, and insecurity. Twenty percent of nine-year-olds and over forty percent of fourteen-year-olds report wanting to lose weight, whereas most of these girls are within the normal healthy weight range for their age. These young girls lack the skill of media literacy, or the ability to analyze and evaluate media critically instead of allowing it to define their societal rank and self-worth. Instead of encouraging young girls and women to become media literate, society and popular culture are using women's ignorance to their advantage, exploiting the insecurities of girls and women for their own capitalistic gains. Women who reported greater exposure to television programming during adolescence were more likely to experience high levels of body image disturbance than women who hadn't been exposed so young. Today, music, television, ads, and magazines are increasingly influential forms of media in adolescent and college females. These forms of media project a standard to which women are expected to aspire, though the standard is almost completely impossible for the majority of women to achieve. This inability to meet the standard sends the message to women that you're not good enough. And women's constant social comparison with the typical media images is detrimental to their mood, body image, and self-esteem. The glorification of models who are often under what is considered healthy body weight sends the message to women that they must sacrifice their health to meet society's standards of beauty. Today, the media and technology play a bigger role in our everyday lives than they ever have before. In this digital age of constant connectedness, members of nearly every generation own devices that connect to the internet and thus receive media messages. Because of this domination of technology, our younger generations are being exposed to developmentally detrimental social norms and messages sooner in their development process and more intensely than ever before.